Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and yes, today we have a homeworks haul, believe it or not. So you guys know Bath & Body Works is my usual go-to, but sometimes it's fun to try out different brands, right? And so back in my previous location, so if you haven't noticed, uh, I have moved in the past few months into a new location, and uh, in the previous location, there was a high concentration of the TJX store, so your TJ Maxx Home Goods Marshalls, um, and there was a higher concentration of it, and also in very populated areas that would get just heaps and heaps of inventory of the homeworks candles, but in my new location, there is not a high concentration of TJ Maxx stores or the TJX stores, um, and they're very far apart, and of the ones that do exist, they just don't seem to have the crazy inventory that the other stores in the other location used to have, so I just don't really have much access to the uh, Homeworks candles anymore. I know they're now in, like, CVS as well. Um, but it's like the fun, juicy variety usually exists either on QVC, the Slack and Co. website, or get sent to the TJX stores. And so I, I'm just like, well, you know what? I still kind of like want to try Homeworks. Usually the fragrances are nice. The performance is beyond hit or miss. We've like beat that dead horse uh, into the ground uh, that we don't really need to go into that. But yes, I still like smelling them and trying them out. And so what happened was I was like making the rounds to the few TJX stores and I just really couldn't find anything outside of a Palo Santo and spruce and honey and spruce and a citrus and spruce. But oddly enough, if you smell the Palo Santo spruce and the citrus and spruce in the TJX stores, I highly believe the fragrances got swapped. Cause like when you smell the citrus and spruce, it smells smoky and woodsy like a Palo Santo spruce candle would smell like. And if you smell Palo Santo spruce, it smells like a citrus, juicy, fruity fragrance that would be more in line with citrus and spruce. So just heads up on that. But I didn't really want those. And so I was like, let me go and do QVC. QVC had like, it's the holiday season. So they do a lot of the discounts, right? Like the $15 off or the free shipping or whatever. And so I initially put in an order for the As As Pumpkin Espresso Martini two pack. And then a two pack of the Pumpkin Gingerbread Three Wick, which, oh my God, Pumpkin Gingerbread used to be like the juiciest, like pumpkin bread type of fragrance I've ever experienced back in the day. Um, from that Gingerbread Treats collection or whatever they have that came alongside Glazed Gingerbread. And Glazed Gingerbread, it's the one that smells like curry and I don't like it, but for whatever reason, that one comes back like ad nauseum, but pumpkin gingerbread does not. And so it's just like, ugh, why? Um, and so I put in that QVC order, but then like once the high went down and I got the order confirmation and everything, I realized it was still like, I don't know, 70 some, $80 just for four candles, but really only two fragrances that I was like, girl, I'm not doing this. So I canceled those right away. And so what I noticed was that the pumpkin gingerbread notes on the QVC website had like word for word the same notes as the pumpkin ginger snap candle on the Slack and Co website that I can buy individually um, and do it that way. And so what happened was I, I was like, you know what, next time there's a juicy sale on Homeworks Candles, let me just put in an order with the pumpkin ginger snap that I suspect would be pumpkin gingerbread um, and put in my order and just do one order above 100 to get free shipping and do all that kind of stuff. And they finally had that 30% off holiday site-wide sale. And so I did that and this is the result of that haul. So now that that long-winded intro is out of the way, let us get into it. Um, so yeah. Homeworks, yeah, I just, once again, I just don't buy too much from the uh, brand anymore uh, for the reasons that I discussed. Uh, I think the last batch that I bought was actually all the way back in February or January with the uh, two new like Valentine's Day candles. So we have the Galentine's one here and I think Love is in the Air and that was literally the last homework purchase, homeworks purchase I've made the entire year. Um, unfortunately, Galentine's, while I could smell it, it just like tunnel like absolute madness that the performance on it wasn't great. Um, and then we had the Magic and the, or Love is in the Air one, which is like the dark chocolate rose and raspberry fragrance. This was like nearly unscented when I go to burn it, so this was no good either. So that was just kind of like the last experience I had with homework, so it, I wasn't inclined to really like put in any more online orders. Um, and then we also had, oh my god, PSA, do not buy those crappy ass, uh, Scentworks, Homeworks, Advent calendars that they like hawk on QVC and sometimes in like Kohl's and all the other websites. <gasps> Watch my Scentworks 
advent calendar review from last year. I'm assuming it's the same like made in D Dominican Republic little small like tea light uh, candles that have absolutely no throw to them and they all smell super plasticky and cheap and terrible. Do not do not get tempted to buy the advent calendar assuming it's the same quality as it was last year. So yeah. So after that bad taste in my mouth and so now we finally fast forward to October, November and here we are finally with another homeworks haul. I, of course I did purchase these all myself. I'm not a brand ambassador so yeah. Cool. Uh, let us get into it. So the first one we have is Black Forest Upside Down Cake right here. And that's what that looks like. Uh, silver lid. Uh, it's still like the, the flimsier, uh, cheaper ones, but at least not like the, the matte looking ones that looked even more cheaper. So yeah, uh, this one still has the plastic uh, like dust cover on it. Uh, and they are still indeed made in Vietnam. Uh, fresh baked chocolate cake, dark bean cherries, sweet cream and vanilla bean molasses. And I'm like super bummed and disappointed about this candle. Yeah, if I smell this in store, I most certainly wouldn't have picked it up. It's the cold throw on it is incredibly light, super light and generic. I can't, it's just like this kind of fake plasticky, creamy chocolate fragrance. But it's not like, I don't know, Black Forest Upside Down cake with all the notes. Like I thought I was gonna get like, a really rich, heavy, like the, oh my God, chocolate layer cake from Yankee Candle infused with like a really awesome, juicy, like drippy, like maraschino, like candy coated cherry fragrance is what I was expecting in this. And like just the depth of the rich chocolate mixed with the sweetness of the cherries. No, I mean, this literally smells like a Big Lots candle, I hate to say. Yeah, this is just not great. Um, so yeah, I don't have high hopes for that. We'll see how it goes when it burns, but on cold, it is super underwhelming. So that was Black Forest Upside Down Cake right there. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Uh, we have Pistachio Cranberry Bark, and that's what that looks like right there. Cool. Uh, crushed Pistachio Red Cranberry Hazelnut Puree and Vanilla Bean. And I was like, ooh, like pistachio still kind of in, right? And like, what does that smell like with cranberry? And let's go. Um, yeah. Um, also incredibly, incredibly light. Um, I'm not getting all the layers and the symphony of uh, notes and fragrances that Harry Slatkin uh, says that there are in these candles on his QVC presentations. I'm really not getting that. Uh, it's just like this very subtle and diluted, creamy, cranberry fragrance with a little bit of spice in it. It's not overly nutty or gourmand or cozy or warm or pistachio like your pistachio and toasted vanilla from Bath & Body Works or even like the nuttiness that you get from like almond croissant. It's nowhere near as heavy or robust as any of that. It's just like this sort of creamy, light, slightly spiced cranberry fragrance that leans more on the warmer side than that like super like tart, like don't think of like frosted cranberry, which is like really fruity and tart and like zingy and bright. It's not like that. It is definitely something a little bit more warmer and creamier, but overall it's very subdued and light. Yeah, okay, I'm um, not super enthused about that. I also don't know if I would have picked this up if I had smelled this in store, yeah. Hmm, okay. Uh, pistachio cranberry bark right here. Uh, moving on, this was on clearance, and I remember like this being all the rage um, in the candle community back when this first came out in the springtime, and it is blueberry violet tart right here, and that's what that looks like. Uh, let's see. Fresh blueberries, violet petals, baked pastry, and vanilla bean, and that's what that looks like. And this smells nice. I like this. Okay, this is much better and more what I expect from Homeworks. Um, yeah, you do, there is definitely like a prettiness in there and like Violet is, is, is a quite sweet, like it's sweet for a floral fragrance. It's usually like oftentimes Violet is like a candied Violet sometimes when you see in like fragrance notes or in like a fragrance profile. It's usually like more in like the sweet cutesy candied route is kind of how Violet pops up. And there is something like a little bit more sophisticated or pretty about this mixed with a really juicy, awesome blueberry fragrance. It doesn't smell overly synthetic or artificial. Um, and then there is a little bit of like a bakery warm, almost crusty butteriness. It smells even slightly spiced in like a baking spice type of way. Um, yeah, it's not as crusty and heavy and overly gourmand or like obviously gourmand as blueberry pie from Bath and Body Works. And it's not quite as jammy and powdered sugared as the mixed berry crumble thing that we got either, 
but nonetheless it is still indeed another one of those like blueberry bakery type fragrances but it's nice it's pretty and it's delicate and it's just like a slightly more like fancy sophisticated version of your usual run-of-the-mill blueberry uh gourmand fragrance but I like it. Okay, I can see why people were uh, digging this. Um, I'm excited. It kind of is in line with like that blueberry lavender cupcake that we got in that like frosted hobnail glass that was like totally unscented, but the fragrance was nice on cold. Uh, kind of in that type of route of it being mostly gourmand with a little bit of floral, but not enough floral to like scare people away, but enough to make it a little bit more distinct and sophisticated from your run of the mill berry bakery fragrances. So yeah, this one's the first thumbs up out of the, out of the haul. So uh, blueberry violet tart right there. Um, cool. Uh, we then have autumn rose. You guys know I love me a good rose fragrance, and this one was also like on clearance for the fall release. Uh, autumn rose right there, very dark and mysterious as you can see. Um, autumn rose sparkling peach velvet magnolia and sweet patchouli, and that's what that looks like. Deep dark wax color. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, God, I feel like I've smelled this before. Kind of like the, ooh, oh, that's what it is. Okay, the, very close to patchouli rosewood from BBW. It's that like darker, not so fruity, juicy. It's not a fruity rose. It's not a juicy rose. It's not really a bright rose. It's not really like powdery or like traditionally perfumey and like that old fashioned rose that you get either. It's not like a dewy fresh pick rose from like a fresh cut roses or anything like that. It's more so that darker deep um, fragrance that you get that is very reminiscent of patchouli rosewood. Oh, okay, now I don't love it so much because I already have patchouli rosewood that I spent only like, I don't know, 10 bucks on versus this, which was like, I don't know, $17 plus shipping or actually no, it was more like, well, I think it was like $20.99 plus shipping maybe, whatever it was, it was still more than the $10 from Bath and Body Works, right? Oh yeah, okay, is this what that is? Yeah, this is incredibly similar to um, that, that rosewood thing that I was just talking about. Yeah, patchouli rosewood, which this has patchouli in it. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I, if I smell this in store, I probably want to pick it up either because it's just too similar in profile to patchouli rosewood. Um, okay, this haul isn't going so hot. Okay, autumn rose right there. And last but not least, I probably, against better judgment, bought two of the same ones because I was pretty confident that the notes on pumpkin ginger snap being so similar to the ones from pumpkin gingerbread on QVC would probably mean that it was indeed just pumpkin gingerbread repackaged from back in the day in the gingerbread treats collection. And so gingerbread treats was um, the, the OG pumpkin gingerbread that I loved so much. And the notes on that were pumpkin, gingerbread, brown sugar, nutmeg, and hazelnut. And then now we have the pumpkin gingerbread that was from QVC it says pumpkin puree, harvest spice, uh, ginger zest and vanilla caramel. And then, so we have this pumpkin ginger snap candle from Slacken and Co. Um, and this one says ginger snap cookie, pumpkin spice, grated orange zest and vanilla bean. But I think the notes, like the full top, middle, bottom notes on the website um, was like super close to the notes that you got on pumpkin gingerbread on the QVC one. But now that I'm looking at the notes here, it isn't quite as the same as it is. Actually, I don't even know if the notes on the bottom of this are the same as the notes on the on listed on the website. Okay, let me let me figure this out. Actually, no, they are different. So the ones online say pumpkin puree, harvest spice, ginger zest, and vanilla caramel, which is that not the notes that I just read for pumpkin uh, gingerbread from QVC? Uh, let's see. Yes, it is indeed. So the online notes for pumpkin ginger snap match the same notes for pumpkin gingerbread on the QVC website, but the ones printed on the bottom actually say ginger snap cookie, pumpkin spice grated orange zest, and vanilla bean. So they aren't actually word for word the same once it's printed on the bottom. Although that's not to say like people can put in whatever notes they want on whatever label and put it out there. And because the top middle bottom notes usually have like, I don't know, nine, 12 notes in it, they can pick and choose what they print, but still um, a little misleading because the notes are not actually exactly the same. Okay, well, I, I'm like, my brain is too fried to even like continue going down this rabbit hole. But in any case, so pumpkin ginger snap right here, is it indeed actually the same fragrance as pumpkin gingerbread from the original one? 
it's very close, but I don't know if it's exactly the same. The, the orange note in this is intense. I mean, there's a huge orange and ginger presence to this mixed with pumpkin, um, pumpkin spice, the usual pumpkin spice blend in there. But wow, that orange zest, orange zest is incredibly strong. But I, I don't know. It's quite similar to the original pumpkin gingerbread, but I don't know if the orange was so immensely strong in the original one. I don't know, but I think it's close enough that I'm not completely upset that I have two of them because it comes close enough to the one that I had initially, but I don't have that with me anymore, so I can't really compare it side by side. But going by memory, I feel like this one's just a little bit stronger on that citrus zest. But yeah, it does smell like a pumpkin ginger snap. Um, I don't know, I'll have to see. Uh, it's at least very strong on cold, so I like that. So that was pumpkin ginger snap right there. Um, I, I bought two of them thinking that it would indeed be pumpkin gingerbread, but now I'm, I'm not really sure. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. So yeah, very mixed bag. It's, it's hard with blind buys, right? Um, and I, I think Homeworks uh, doesn't have a very generous return policy. Um, so yeah, you're just kind of stuck with them. So, um, well, okay, now I know why I only put like two orders of Homeworks uh, purchases throughout the year because this is kind of what you get and yeah uh, okay well we'll burn them and see how they do and go from there so that's pretty much it uh, let me know if there was any juicy homeworks candles that you picked up this year that you really like uh, let me know all your likes and dislikes and recommendations down below and I'll talk to you guys later bye